Hi, I'm Kat Sheridan, Director of the Ohio Arts Council's Rife Gallery. And I'm Amy Wisman, the Marketing and Exhibitions Fellow. Today we're going to have a look at After Hours. Artwork from 44 State of Ohio employees. Let's have a look. Here's Robin Schaefer's work, and I'm really drawn to this globe for a variety of reasons. One, it's kinetic, so it kind of softly undulates and dips back and forth. It also is, is packed with memory for me. It, it makes me think of, of being a kid and, and being in school and, and making the globe go round. This artist also has some specific cuts that are indicative of work that is 2D just behind us that are almost like bas relief. They're pieces that become nuanced and deeper the more you look at them and being able to kind of shift from one side to the other to see the additional depth that they have. This work is from Michael Bush and it's honestly some of my favorite pieces in the exhibition. His use of color, the scale of the work, if you get up close there's a textural element to the work and I think what really draws me in is that through abstraction, he's actually created a, a sense of intimacy. All of these paintings you really want to get close to. This is the work of Steve Nisano, and he is a phenomenal painter. What I really enjoy about his works, it's not only are they really representative of the area that he's in, it's a celebration of that, but it's also just this generosity of medium that you see when you get close to the work. You don't always have that in paintings. It's almost like he's mixing his paint on this particular canvas and any of his canvases really. And there's a high talent that comes in that in describing form and landscape with this very abstract uh, kind of method. It's really exciting. This is the work of Michelle Snow. And what I really love about this work is that it's textural, it's sculptural. Her use of painting combined with these found objects is really interesting. She's able to use the pennies to not only accomplish texture, but also shading. And one thing that I would point out is that she's strategically placed all of these pennies with the tail side up. This is Jennifer Witten's work, and Jennifer is really well known for her beaded works, as well as her found object assemblage. So this found object assemblage is taking a really common utilitarian tool of the trowel, as well as the common and utilitarian tool of the button, and bringing them together to elevate these very common objects into a really fine art piece. What I really enjoy about this is that there's a sense of history that you get from it, not only from these beautiful cameos that you have centered, but also the, the kind of reference to place and history. It's just a, a gorgeous reminder of the tactility of the object. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to register for our upcoming programming at rightgallery.bitbrain.com. And thanks again to our legislature who supports this really important space that allows us to exhibit and amplify the voices of Ohio artists.